Let's dive into the next uh, conversation now. The cryptocurrency market was thrown into more fallout amid the collapse of FTX, one of the world's largest cryptocurrency exchanges. Bitcoin briefly touches a new low for the year as FTX token plunges more than 75% in broad crypto sell-off. On November 8, 2022, Binance CEO uh, Shankpeng Zhao announced that his firm, the largest cryptocurrency exchange by trade volume, has signed a letter of intent to acquire rival exchange FTX. The next day, Binance walked away from the deal, leaving FTX customers in a lurch as cryptocurrency prices tumble down to about 16,000 US dollars. The recent development came as a shock to many, and the crypto market amid an ongoing clash between the two titans of the industry. This lets to have a plunge in coins like Bitcoin, Ethereum, among others. Well, let's uh, get talking now. So, we'll look at the, the effect of this development on the market and what investors are saying, especially uh, the future. What does the future hold now? For further analysis, Tola Fadugagwe is the founder of Crypto Masterclass. He joins us virtually now. Uh, thank you, Tola, for taking time out to join us today. Thanks for having me. Okay, so um, let me get your opinion. What exactly is going on uh, between FTX? What do you think is going on between FTX and Binance? All right. Um, what we are seeing is nothing but the battle for prominence. You know, when you run a business, one of the things that you are mindful of is your competitor taking your place. And of course, uh, the marketplace is a battle place, is a battlefield, not just in crypto, uh, but every marketplace. So what is going on between FTS and Binance is that we, we we've, I mean, we are witnessing um, the biggest cryptocurrency exchange trying to ensure that uh, the exchange maintains the first spot. Um, FTS came around um, three years ago, and out of the blues, they became the second largest cryptocurrency exchange in the world by volume okay and uh you know uh displacing the likes of uh, coinbase um, kraken gemini polonese bitfinex and other big um exchanges so uh personally i felt binance despite the fact that uh binance maintain 10x you know 10x um volume above fts binance could still be worried about fts taking its first place in the long term mm, mm. Oh, okay so so how long do you think this will go on because this has affected the prices of cryptocurrency especially bitcoin has plunged to from uh, um about seventeen thousand to sixteen thousand okay um this will be the last time we are going to see the market thrown into chaos like this I have been here since 2016, and I can tell you that we've seen several events. Okay, we are going to be witnessing um, exchange acts. We're going to be witnessing um, issues with liquidity. Uh, we're going to be witnessing uh, um, so many things we we saw with um, so many exchanges. So this isn't going to be uh, the last the last time a thing like this will happen. Negative events will always come that will throw the market into chaos, but we, we can't tell what will happen next. And um, in order for a thing like this to be mitigated in the future, is the more reason why regulation should come in very fast. Personally, I want regulation and I want it now. It's not a matter of, okay, we've seen um, the first stage trying to establish um, a prominence in the space as the as the top stage, Binance was not here in 2016. Okay, um, it was Bitres, Polonies, um, and the rest of them. But out of the blues, Binance became one cryptocurrency world. So there was a time when um, this social app clubhouse came out nearly. I was on the call with um, CZ and other crypto influencers. He said something about nothing is too big that it can't fail, and nothing is too small that it can become big. So Binance is aware that the top spot should be maintained. Otherwise, of course, anyone can take that top spot. So what we are seeing now is it, it, not a matter of how long will it last. It will continue to reoccur 
until yeah. we have so, so it, it looks like the, the markets it looks like the this market politics or market dynamics playing out there and so I, from what you have said um i'm trying to deduce that perhaps binance is seeing ftx as a big competitor so taking over ftx perhaps uh will, will, will help them to retain the position and maybe as the number one or number second in terms of uh, a trading platform is that what it is well, definitely that's the volume yeah Mm. So what, what, what's the hope for investors now? We've seen that, um, it, it, I mean, it, I mean the, the, the market really is volatile now. So nobody know exactly what is going to happen next. And so what are investors doing? What are they saying? And how are they repositioning in this volatile market with this development? Okay, two things. Um, investors like myself, I am not really worried okay i am only concerned about the fact that the cryptocurrency may continue to decline in the general market cap and of course if that is happening my portfolio is also affected badly so for someone like me it's not it's not the first time of me seeing this i've seen the threat from craig wright from um, rugava and other big um, players in the space so um for new investors i want to tell them that it's a good thing. What is happening right now is not entirely bad. I'm a believer of um, in the marketplace. Is uh, anything happening is not entirely good or entirely bad. So what we saw with uh, Binance FTS is not entirely bad. It is um, of course um, the blame we see on FTS because the the whole was was too much, eight to ten billion um, dollars uh, gap. Is, is too much so mm. for new investors that perhaps joined newly uh it is not what they may be thinking they may feel like oh everything is coming to an end no crypto is going nowhere mm. crypto because going i nowhere. asked that question investors. just a moment i asked that question because when this news broke we saw that over six billion us dollars uh you know was withdrawn uh, a lot of people did withdraw up amounting to about six billion us dollars in three days that's alarming Yes, because of panic, we got something um, FUD in the crypto space, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. Um, they are very bad because you don't even know what is up. You don't even know what would happen next. You know, the crypto market is, is let, me, let me tell you something. Let me say this. If you look at all the cryptocurrencies in the marketplace, okay, then you look at stable coins. Hmm. Stable coins are way smaller compared to all the cryptocurrencies, all the volatile ones. So it means that if the stable coins are to service, are to service all the volatile ones, there will be enough liquidity. So there will be liquidity crisis. So of course, everyone is just in, like, in chaos, like most of newbies, new investors, trying to sell off, trying to you know, mitigate their loss and, 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 and so on. So um, it, is, it is expected, the market is a very volatile place. Of course, extremely volatile because of there is no proper balance when it comes to liquidity. And that's the fact. Mm. Let's narrow down on whom now. I know that a lot of Nigerians, you know, uh, have been investing in, into, I mean, in crypto market, uh, as it were. But uh, as it is now, with what is happening in the crypto market space, is this still a safe heaven? A heaven? Can, we stay, can we say investors can still use that as a hedge against their investment? Definitely. You see, um, sometimes in order for peace to reign, there has to be war. I'm a believer of war. I'm a believer of uh, for a long-lasting peace. Let there be problems, okay? After the problems, we, we, we experience calmness. We experience peace. So for a long time, it is, it, is, it is very good. It is very good. Why? Because moving forward, an exchange right now, or exchanges will be very transparent be more careful about how they spend users funds on liabilities we'll be very careful on how they manage users funds there will be transparency going forward we've seen you know top exchanges like gates like um, um cracking already publishing their giving you money and time to time you're, you're telling me that I look at your money i will be very glad that anytime i need my money i can get it back i can get it back from you so what happened could be painful short time. 
But moving forward, it's a good one. It is going to bring, you know, normalcy and sanity to the crypto mm -hmm. space. It looks like the uh, crypto uh, Bitcoin, like Ethereum, uh, Bitcoin, and you have FTX, for instance, now. Um, it, it, some people, according to some analysts, perhaps it's overrated. Is it time to start looking in the direction of other smaller coins? Okay. Uh, as an investor that, that understands how price action works, I would say if you are looking for an investment that could 10x, 20x, 50x your portfolio in 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 few years, then you want to look away from Bitcoin and Ethereum. Why? They have huge market cap already. In order for Ethereum to go up 100%, it has to double in its current price, same as Bitcoin. But there are other smaller cryptocurrencies that are extremely cheap with great fundamentals and utility. Those ones could even you know double in two days, in three days. So, but if you are looking for an investment in the crypto space that you have high hope of not crashing, then you want to look into Bitcoin and Ethereum. But if otherwise, you want to look into other smaller markets cap that have the ability to 10 years to 50 years in a few years from now, and, and, and um, that's it. Mm. But well, let, let me um, let's get back to the I mean Binance of course FTX again. Uh, recently, yeah. I mean we understand that um, a Nigerian uh, banker talking about uh, Ibuku Awoshika was appointed on the board of uh, you know Binance. I'm sure you're following yeah. that news as well. Yeah. I mean yeah, with yeah, yeah, that yeah. of course, it, um, what is the significant impact of that appointment for Nigerian traders? And for instance, for the development, I mean, the current development, how are Nigerian traders, uh, you know, reacting to that? Thank you very much for this wonderful question. I was not expecting this, but let's give it to Binance. Kudos to them for trying to bring sanity in the crypto space, even though I made a tweet that said they agree with um, two days ago. I said about, we talked with FTX, projects, Moving forward, very careful on how they allow so much commitments to Binance. But looking at um, the other side, you know, appointing our mother, and not just our mother, other, you know, prominent people across the world, this is to tell you that there is a for cryptocurrency. Just take, for instance, mm. Madame Awoshika, with what is happening, you know, having us at art may not be happy that oh, these young um, investors are losing money. So. There will be board meetings that will not even be on press, and this will help to facilitate. What Hello, Tola. Uh, hello, Tola. Like, we're losing connection with you. I don't know if you can hear me. Well, I guess uh, we'll, um, Tola perhaps will have to reconnect with us. Uh, I think he was trying to highlight the fact that, um, I mean, we have a Nigerian on the board of uh, Binance now. Uh, there could be more hope for Nigerian traders. Uh, and maybe it is time to start considering um, investing into cryptocurrency and seeing opportunity uh, in that market space as well, given the fact that we have um, a Nigerian um, on the board of Binance. So, uh, Tola, are you there? Can you hear me, please? Yes. C can you hear me? Yes, I can, clearly. clearly. Yes. So I, I needed to continue on that thought. Yes, I said um, this is a good one because it will help to facilitate regulation. And what mm -hmm. are we, when, when we're talking about regulation, what exactly do we mean? It means that if Mr. He is launching a project, the regulators want to be very sure that, okay, this project is it fully fiat backed. Are there, are there insurance? And of course, your balance sheet, is it transparent? If you say you have users fund worth of, let's say, $10 billion, for instance, in your own project, the user balance, does it correlate with that token? So moving forward, there's going to be a lot of transparency. And I guess uh, we're still, 
we're beginning to lose uh, connection with uh, Tola Fadu at uh, the moment. Um, but of course, um, I think he was trying to highlight the fact that we need regulation. Maybe with the coming on board of a Nigerian on the board of uh, Binance, uh, we should begin to see a push for regulation. Maybe at, at the moment that the cryptocurrency uh, trading is banned in Nigeria by the CBN, and no bank is allowed to trade crypto in Nigeria, perhaps that now have uh, now that we have a Nigerian, um, you know, on the board of Binance, we should begin to see a push from there. Perhaps that's what we should expect in the coming days. Um, Tola, are you there? I guess we'll have to quickly take a break now. And when we return, of course, we'll continue that conversation. Uh, interesting time with uh, uh, Tola Fadugagwe. We'll be back in a moment. This is Business Breakfast. And now we have uh, Tola Fadugagwe, uh, founder of Crypto Masterclass, back now. Thank you for joining us again yes um I, we, we're looking at the fact that now that we have a book which you can board and you were talking about regulation uh issues why it is necessary um so does it suggest that we will now that we have her um, in the market in the international space but let's remember that of course crypto trading is banned it's too banned in, in nigeria as well so does this suggest that we should expect a push uh, in, for regulation and maybe uh, acceptability for this market in Nigeria? Definitely. The first one is that um, the whole concept of Web3 is a fantastic one and it can be thrown away. The, I don't think there is any country in five, ten years' time that won't have embraced Web3 fully. So uh, we should expect um, more um, interesting things to come regarding um, adoption, regarding regulation, uh, and, and, and the rest of them. Mm. Now, w w but when you talk about, um, you know, regulation as well, um, y you know that, again, uh, CBN is still standing on, a, on his, um, I mean, on its feet. I mean, on its, its, perhaps it's not likely to go um, in the back on its, uh, on its words any moment from now. Uh, do you see CBN lifting that ban uh, very soon? Okay. Um, CBN, first off, with my understanding now, with what uh, we saw, they are not um, stopping anyone from involving with cryptocurrency. They only said, uh, guys, uh, don't allow, I mean, banks, don't allow your customers to um, use your platform as either liquidity or as an exchange for um, cryptocurrency, that's one. Then number two, Nigerians were warned that this asset class is extremely volatile. Participate at your own risk. So they are not stopping anyone from using um, cryptocurrency. But the fact remains that as time goes on, um, government would always change. At least one thing that is constant in this life is change. So you never can tell um, the incoming government may feel like, oh, this whole idea of uh, banning banks from servicing cryptocurrency is not good enough let us take the ban so personally i think in the long run the ban will be lifted it is not going to it is not going to be be like this forever this could even be one of the reasons why we are seeing naira tanking against usd you know because there is no proper access to 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 usd so uh yes i i, I am seeing on the cbn lifting the ban yeah mm. Okay, as we try to wind down now, yes, we, we do know that uh, cryptocurrency uh, exchanges, um, I mean, we have a lot of them, a lot of exchanges now. So, so let me ask you, what are the things that n needs to be looked into so as to avoid this type of uh, development or fallouts in the future? Okay, um, many things, many things. An average... Nigerian and African African is going to the crypto space for one thing, they want to make money. As someone that has an academy, there was a time I was carrying out you know proper survey, a uh, very basic one, and I found out that most of my protégés, what they understand is buying and sell, nothing more. They they don't care about fundamentals, they don't care about the risk, they don't care about the science, 
what they want to do is just to buy and sell. Cryptocurrency is way beyond that. In fact, you may not even buy and sell cryptos and still make money. So what we should be uh, looking at is that um, we are going to be seeing uh, projects that has you know, tangible solutions that want to solve real problems coming forth. We're going to be seeing, you know, exchanges, you know, trying to, you know, book up, try to be more transparent, you know, always publishing their proof of reserve. And if there are liabilities, that will also be published. So it's, uh, the space moving forward is going to be very clean. It's going to be very healthy and, of course, very transparent. Thank you. Mm. Okay, I think this is where we'll have to leave it. Uh, thank you so much. <laughs> Uh, Tola Fadu Bagbe, always a delight to listen to you. Thank you for your time on the program. We've been talking to Tola Fadu Bagbe, founder of uh, Crypto Masterclass. We appreciate your time on the program. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. Yeah. You're yeah, still so watching Business Breakfast coming to you live from our studios here in Lagos, the nation's commercial capital. Now, when we return from this break, of course, we we'll take a look at the Nigerian stock market. And of course, the investors pushed you ahead of the inflation rate due for release later on Tuesday. Stay with us in a moment. <laughs> 